daily deals in store in Del Mar or Seaford. Visit Odds and Ends online at OE420.com. Headlines, headlines, you can't get through your day without. Power 1017. All right, 640, Jess, what you got today? Here we go. The U.S. Coast Guard said on Monday that an estimated 1.1 million gallons of crude oil has leaked into the Gulf of Mexico near a pipeline off the coast of Louisiana. Officials are concerned about the oil's potential impact on endangered and threatened species. The Coast Guard first reported seeing the spill on Friday, saying that an air crew had identified the leak. In their last update on Tuesday, officials said that the leak is about 67 miles long. It was not specified when the leak began, but officials said that the pipeline was closed down at 6.30 a.m. on Thursday. Mm. It will, okay? Now, the IRS made an announcement yesterday that it is delaying a tax reporting requirement targeting Americans who made more than $600 online through third-party payment apps like Venmo and PayPal. The rule change approved by Democrats in March of 2021 with the passage of the American Rescue Plan would have required payments in their platforms, including Venmo, PayPal, and Etsy and Airbnb, to send a form 1099K to the IRS and users if their transactions equaled up to more than $600 over the course of the year. Man, also, I don't want that. No. We use Venmo so we don't no, have to pay taxes. Okay. <laughs> you know, just send it like as a gift. Yeah, come send on. Send it private. Come on. Yeah, I know. That old, let's tax them gag. Yeah, I know. Now, this is a sad story to report this morning. A homicide investigation is underway after police say that a woman was shot and killed in Milton on Monday night. Shortly after 11 p.m., troopers were called to the 28,000 block of West Springside Drive for a reported shooting. Troopers arrived to find 57-year-old uh, it was a woman suffering from a gunshot wound to her upper body. She was unfortunately pronounced dead at the scene. Preliminary investigations reveals that the victim's home was hit by multiple rounds of gunfire by an unknown suspect. One of the rounds went into the home, hitting the victim mm. and killing her. There's no suspect information at this time. If anyone has any information on this incident, please call 302-741-2703. And then another sad situation to report this morning. A Somerset County teacher is now facing charges accused of having a relationship with a student back in the God. 90s. Mm. So Somerset County Schools does confirm that Somerset Intermediate Band teacher Ron Davis was placed on administrative leave last month. Somerset County Schools says that Mr. Ron Davis was placed on admin leave in mid-October immediately after um, SCPS the district administration learned of the allegations from the investigating law enforcement agency. The alleged events occurred before Mr. Davis was hired by Somerset County Public Schools, but he is facing two charges of child abuse, custodian, and assault. The Worcester County Sheriff's Office advised that this case is still under investigation, but if anyone has any information at all, you can call 410 632 1111. So he works for Somerset right now. He's placed on leave, but. The allegations just recently came out of when he worked in Worcester County. Yes, in the 90s. In the 90s. Yes. Wow, that's crazy. Yep, that's he is real crazy. Of having a relationship with a student back in the 90s. Mm. Wow. Mm. Yeah, he was a band teacher at Stephen Decatur High School at the time. Wow. And I think it was like late 80s, early. It was like the like 92 or something. It says, according to charging documents, he had a sexual relationship with his student, a 16 or 17-year-old girl at the time. Mm. The documents also show that he resigned from the school before leaving to teach in Somerset County. But see, back then they didn't have... It oh, yeah, he was employed. He was employed. I don't know when these you know, allegations happened, what year, but it says he was employed there from August of 1988 to August of 1992. Yeah. Now the school system obviously is cooperating, but this is an ongoing investigation, and they will not comment any further. That's crazy. Crazy, right? Yeah. See, back then they didn't have, like, all the social medias and, you know. And like it probably wasn't like as encouraging to step up and say something back then. And then here we are years later. Maybe that person did step up. Yeah. Cause, so I don't want to hear, you know, like I always hear like, why did they just do it back then? You know, it's probably not true. They're lying now. I think, I mean, people you know, get like, scared. I think there's a lot of fear there. 
and I'm telling you, it was a different time back then. Back then, it was like, yeah. nah, it's your teacher, and know. you know, it was like a different. It was a different yeah. time back then. It just is what it is. So, wow, it's a shame. Six forty-six. It's the Bill and Jessica show. We got sports on the way. Big football day tomorrow. Yep. For Thanksgiving, Huge. yeah, we'll give you We're a little ready. preview. We'll talk about it. Give our picks. Here's Tech Nine. Bill and Jessica. Good morning.